Hello, welcome back. So today we have here a coffee machine. It's uh, from one of our co-workers. The problem with this one is that uh, it starts, it's heating up the water, the water is coming here into the jug, but suddenly it stops and uh, it doesn't brew anymore. Uh, this this uh, thingy here goes to orange and uh, from the manual what I read is that uh, it's needing, uh, it needs a cleaning. Yeah, the problem is after that you cannot start the the coffee machine for a long time because uh, this LED is just blinking and it's saying that um, the the machine is still warm and you should leave it to cool down and start again. So before starting that uh, descaling process, um, because I think it never it never has been done. For this, um, I decided to take a little bit apart this uh, appliance, and uh, I, I'm curious if there are transparent hoses inside here, uh, just to get an idea of uh, how uh, filled up with lime scale this uh, coffee machine is. Yeah, so maybe it's not even worth trying to do something with it because uh, I doubt that uh, any solution can get everything out so this is the model yeah so I will open these screws these four screws and uh, let's see what's inside so I took it apart just three screws are holding uh, this back uh, this bottom plate and there are some uh, this kind of clips that you just push with a screwdriver and everything uh, just falls apart all my screws are on the floor never mind so we see here the heater uh, the heating resistance pretty simple thing and uh, also the way the water goes there are some uh, thermal um, switches here and it could be that one of these is acting up and actually thinking that the heater is uh, the coffee maker is much hotter than it is and stopping the um, the warming process and it also has a uh, some electronics there uh, with some kind of chips and if you ask me, it's it's really stupid. Yeah, I mean, just just make it make this simple. I, I don't understand why you have to overcomplicate things with this kind of buttons. And uh, I also had this kind, and I still have. I do not use it, but I have a similar principle coffee machine. I use it more for tea than for coffee. <laughs> yeah, but never mind. So it's really simple. Turn it on, just as an on off switch, a thermal switch with, which will uh, start or stop the heater, the electrical resistance, and that's it. I do not understand why uh, they over complicate these things like this. Uh, it also has in a timer, I think, that you can program, and also you can program the water hardness and so on. Well, a lot of uh, stuff that actually I don't know why they are needed. So um, I will take this hose down and see what's inside of it. It it feels soft, so I don't think there's a problem there. So I came to the conclusion that probably this part is defective. This is a dual thermostat and I think actually it is a thermostat for regulating the water temperature and also uh, it's a thermal fuse so basically there are two things in this one we have on one side 125 degrees celsius on the other one 260 and probably then it will blow and uh, i don't think that the 260 
Celsius one is resettable. Yeah, I think if that one blows, then uh, you have to change this part anyway. Now the problem is, I uh, I would buy one of these, but it's uh, it's I found it in only one place on on uh, Amazon, and they don't ship to our country. But even then, it was about 18 euros. So even if they would have shipped it, that's another 10, 15 euros. So about let's say 35 euros in total, very close to 40 anyway. And um, you can buy the whole machine for about uh, 50. So even even if I could get this part it's it's not worth it the cost is not worth it so what i will do uh, i will clean this uh, surface here apply a little bit of thermal grease i think this will do mx4 i will only use a little bit and anyway it's really old so even if i would use this, this to uh, cpu i would uh, buy a new one anyway so we will clean it yeah um, also uh, we will run um, a cycle to clean a little bit the lime scale but it's not not that dirty I would say I, I don't think so there is a little bit of rust maybe but that it's more from the from the tap water than anything else I I don't see a problem here I will run the lime lime scale uh, remover cycle anyway we do have some solution here um, and that's it if nothing works then yeah I think the solution is to buy another one so I will clean everything and uh, put put the coffee maker back together and let's see how it goes so I cleaned the surface I applied the thermal paste yeah, you can see some of it there of course not that quantity that Bosch applied from the factory but uh, for for this I think it should be good and uh, yeah I will uh, put the machine back together and test it so I did test it a few times, it's working a little bit better. Now we can get 8 cups of coffee in one start before uh, the machine stops. So I think that thermal paste made a difference and probably uh, running a cleaning cycle with a solution. Maybe that one will help also a little bit. Yeah, looks like the sensors are working. I still have a doubt that they are working fine, but uh, for now it's okay. It's working uh, and uh, the safety is working also. So if I take away the water, yeah, then uh, the resistance will heat up and the coffee machine should stop. Takes a little bit. Yes, yeah, so about 30 seconds, and it stopped. It's glowing orange, which uh, from the manual we see it needs a cleaning with a solution. Yeah. Okay. So this is it, guys. I hope it will work for a while. Of course, I don't know for how many months weeks who knows okay guys this is it thank you for watching and uh we will see you on the next one bye bye